Hey sightseers, Sightseeing Sally here and Marty. We are back in Hakumba Hot Springs. Whoop. Hakumba Hot Springs is a small town in Southern California with a population around 307. It is located about 70 miles southeast of San Diego. Whoop. Yep, we already did a video here a long time ago. I encourage you if you want to see a cheesy video, go check that out. I think as you can see, there was a fire here. Today we're exploring because we want to check out this forgotten desert town. Right, Marty? Absolutely. Something interesting about Hakumba Hot Springs is a lot of their streets are named after local towns. Some of you might recognize this one as a place we visited recently. So today we are going to wander around Hakumba Hot Springs and look at some of the old forgotten stuff. Off in the distance, you can see the abandoned building we filmed when we were here last. As you can see from this footage, it's looking a little bit different than it did last time. Remember old, this, Marty? Yep, the old bubbler's got grass growing in it. We're standing at the remains of Hotel Vaughn, which was later renamed Hotel Hakumba. But looking at the picture, you can see the chimney that still stands here. Obviously, it's just the lower half of the chimney, but pretty cool. Still there. Still there, right, Marty? <laughs> That's right. Old Highway 80, or Historic 80 as it is now known, runs down through the middle of Hakumba down Main Street, and with the exception of a pa occasional passing vehicle, it's pretty quiet these days. Check out the really neat old sign for Hakumba Hot Springs Spa, where they offer lodging, restaurant, and mineral pools. And then across the street are a couple of old houses. You can see that one looks abandoned. And then there's one over here that has clearly been abandoned. If I had to guess 20, 30 years ago, this was the place in Hakumba to get your car washed and auto detailed. Now you might be wondering why I'm referring to it as Hakumba versus Hakumba Hot Springs. The original name is Hakumba. And you can see that on the name of the post office, Hakumba, California. It's only been in recent times that it's been renamed Hakumba Hot Springs. It's actually quite an interesting story. The man who bought the clothing optional Hot Springs Resort ended up owning the majority of the town because when he purchased the property at Hakumba Hot Springs Spa and Resort, it had a bunch of properties leaned against it. Now he's trying to revitalize the town and that's why he changed it to Hakumba Hot Springs to help make it a draw for people. So according to one of the locals, the naked guy, AKA the man that bought the clothing optional resort, Apparently he just recently sold a bunch of land to somebody else. And so there's somebody new that's developing the town. I don't know, take it with a grain of salt. I can neither confirm nor deny that as being factual. What do you suppose this old building is, Marty? Looks like an old garage or something. We're working on vehicles. Something that's kind of curious though, is that it has the same thing hanging up that one of the abandoned houses does. So this place has it too. I kind of wonder if it has something to do with Native American culture. Yeah, kind of like them dream catchers, but maybe something different. I'd have to look it up on the internet. But if you happen to know, leave it in the comments section below. Look at this neat old building. It now houses an art gallery called Gilliam Gallery. Peeking through the windows, you can see that the collection here is a little bit eclectic or some might even say eccentric. Well, here's something really cool that you don't see very often, an old 7-Up decal in the window. And a Marlboro man advertising for Marlboro cigarettes. If you look up on the side of the building, they have a picture of the main street here in Hakumba. Back in the day, you can see Hotel Vaughn in the distance. Uh, D and E looks like restaurant, Hakumba Theater. Now there's a tattoo shop on Main Street. Times have certainly changed in this sleepy, forgotten desert town. 
Yep, not much happening here. Maybe that's what makes this place so appealing. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure you get a big old thumbs up. They are free. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future vids. Until next time, this is Sightseeing Sally. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. Okay, that's a classic vintage trailer.